Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. It's playoff time. The Stanley Cup playoffs get underway tonight, and we're ready to bring you all the action. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Shot. That's blocked. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Sets the feet in front. Lee's going to play it against the half wall. Just wide. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Handles the pass. McDavid's got it to the side. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. And that doesn't reach the net. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton gained possession along the boards. And he takes a shot. And he makes the save. And that pass doesn't go. Campbell's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. And that's broken up. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Scores! And it gets right back to him, and he puts it home. New York's on the board first. What now? Attack. Don't sit back. You're not defending the lead with way too much time left. Puck picked up by Bouchard. Can't make it work. Moves the puck. Moving into the attacking zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Romanov. Here he is in front. Denies him in close. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Can't find his man. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Islanders have it from their own end. Grabbed along the board by Nugent Hopkins. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Puck scooped up by Wallstrom. Maintains possession. Takes a shot. And that's broken up. Pass broken up. Edmonton's looking to break out. McLeod's got it on the offensive end. The Islanders have it against the wall. Sends one up to Pasho. Taken by Mayfield. And now it's over to Romanov. Through center. Now over to Hyman. Ryan's moving it ahead. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to Ryan. And that's blocked in traffic. Dished on over to Paul Mary. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Throws it in. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Shot! He scores! Anthony Beauvillier! Getting into the later stages of this period, New York's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. The Islanders are on the attack. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bellows. Campbell's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. That'll do it for the first period. And I'll tell you what, this place is buzzing. They're apparently giving away a car here in this intermission. We'll tell you who, if it's Ray or maybe it's me. Back with more. When the home team wins, you win. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any box sporting goods for a coupon. 
Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Edmonton's players and coaches weren't very happy after that first period. They all knew that the puck got turned over way too often, made it way too easy for the opponent. They also know they're pretty fortunate to be in this game step. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. That's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. New York's offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. Puck grab by Pulak. On the attack along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marcel. Stones him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. New York's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Puck picked up by Nurse. Gaining momentum up along the side. New York's got it behind the net. Can't make the connection on the pass. Manages to hang on. Pulak stick handling in his own zone. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. New York's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. Snaps it on net. And that's blocked from someone in front. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. New York's got the puck. Here they come. Wax it into the offensive zone. Quick pass over to Hyman. Nice feed. And now it's grabbed by Paul Mary. Quick pass to Hyman. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Parisi's got it deep in the offensive end. The Oilers look to start the transition game. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Ryan. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Here's a short pass to Kulak. And a good breakaway. Oh, he got nice of what a save. Now he was locked in on that. The shooter prepares the puck and the goaltender is right on top of it to make the save. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Here in the late going of the frame, the Islanders have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. He scores! So is this the time the coach says that you go against the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, no, yeah, somebody's going to say it's guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play, take some chances, get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Oilers win it. Moves the puck to Yanmar. New York's got possession at center. Bailey's got the puck. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And he takes the pass. How did he stop that one? Down the left wing, they gain the zone. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Now, this is a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop a difficult one from the slot.
The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Oilers continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. We're still in the early stages of this period. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. The Islanders win the face-off. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Centering key. Takes a blast. Moves the puck across to Dreisaitl. Moves it to McDavid. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Quick whistle stops the play. The Islanders are getting penalized for slashing. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Will be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Great poke by McDavid. The Oilers have it behind the net. Across the line along the left wall. Can't connect on the pass. And he makes the save on that play. Bellows gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. The Oilers win the draw. Let's it go. They score. And they convert with the have got a big one here in the third down. Well, you've got to be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Romanov. Fails to find the open man. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's trailing by one. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Picked up along the boards by Nelson. And it's a quick pass to Beauvillier. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Takes the pass. Nugent Hopkins has the puck against the half wall. And he denied that opportunity. And he handles the cross ice pass. Scooped up along the wall by Nelson. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Looks to make a play over to Nugent Hopkins. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Sends it in on the attack. Quick feed to McDavid. Edmonton's on the attack. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Well, there's no time to take your foot off the pedal now. This game is tight and it's going to go right down to the wire. Focus is important. Edmonton's on the attack. Quick pass to McDavid. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. They've been working on a couple of things at practice, but this is what they set up earlier. Three players across the top. The shot is coming from either the wing or the middle, and the traffic's going to jam the net. 
Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Great defensive effort with the stick. New York's crossed the line and on the attack. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. Fires yeah. He scores! He tied it up! He tied it up! Here they have Whatever's happened prior to this chance, we're way back at the start. They kept pushing away, and finally we're able to get the equalizer. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Quick feed to Bailey. Nurse is taking it from his own end. Slip feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to McLeod. Now a quick pass to Ryan. Here's a shot. And that goes off course off a of body. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Poked away at center by Mayfield. New York's got a hold of the puck. And here's the pass to Parisi. Under a minute to play in this game. They score! A huge goal! That puts them ahead! There seemed to be some back and forth here that was making it hard to determine who's going to take the lead. That goal changes the whole course of this night. Now the other guys have to chase. In the final moments of this period, the Islanders are looking to build on this one goal lead. New York's got the puck here in the open ice. Slides it quickly to Pellet. Still has possession. And someone's going up here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Play is stopped and here's the official call. I never killed penalties, I tell you. Sitting on the bench watching the penalty killers, that clock goes slow. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Kane's crossed the line and is on the attack now. The Islanders will kill off a few extra seconds now. They get it out of the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Dreisaitl. Unable to reach that one. There's a solid collision. Tries to get the puck to pull off. And he slides it quickly to Parisi. Receives the pass. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Taken by Barry. There's the buzzer. 60 minutes of play has solved absolutely nothing. So let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next year on EA Sports. tonight. Overtime should give us an answer, and they're ready to drop the puck. Overtime is underway here. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Moves it on over to Lee. Moves it to Bailey. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Campbell's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Oilers win the draw. Barry's moving the puck through his own zone. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Nice pass. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And the puck's kicked free. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Gets it over to Pellet. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Slides it on over to Pullock. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Gains the zone. And he takes the feed. 
And he slides it quickly to Wallstrom. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Moves it quickly over to Wallstrom. Lee's got it against the boards. Can't connect. And that's a smart heads up play by Dreisaitl. Down the right side and into the zone. The Islanders have it now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Beauvillier. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Turn that one aside. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Puck grab by Kane. From the left side, they gain the zone. New York's got possession of the puck. Moves it to Wallstrom. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Nothing doing on that. Handles the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Pichon. From one point man to another. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Couldn't make the connection on the play. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Game on a stick! Campbell's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. A critical draw here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't connect. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Dumps it in. New York's got the puck behind the net. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Pushes it across to Bellows. New York's in on the offensive attack now. Keeps hold of the puck. Moves inside. it over to Kulak. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Tosses it to Bellows. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. That's moved up ahead. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now he moves it to Lee. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Oilers have it now. Enters the offensive zone from the left. New York's got it from the back of their own cage. Great reach with the poke check. New York's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck to Mayfield. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Off a stick and they can't connect. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Can't get it to go. And that's a great heads up play. A chance to win it! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! Takes the feed up ahead. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the rest hand in the year. Whistle blown, stopping the play. I thought he was going to slow up somewhere along the way, but that's a charging penalty every time. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Tries to get it out of the zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. There's the horn, and we will play on. Sudden death overtime continues after this.
Get your overtime picks in, because they are ready to drop the puck. Edmonton's won the draw to start the period, and they go right back to work on the man advantage. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Dreisaitl's got that zone ability that helps him create scoring chances, guys. Let's see if it helps him end it here for his club. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. That, he might have a step here. All alone. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, the goalie holds his nerve here on the break. Or in overtime. Absolutely clutch. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. Driving right to the front. And a stick break setup. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. One last rush here on this power play. Keeps possession on the play. Time's up on the man advantage here in overtime. Sometimes you miss a power play and you shrug your shoulders and go back to bench. This feels like a pretty heavy miss. The Islanders played along the boards. Sends it quickly to Dreisaitl. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. New York's got the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And that pass can't connect. Edmonton's in transition. Stays with it. Slides the puck across to McDavid. Fires it on net. Too much congestion in front. Beauvillier swinging the puck through center ice. And now he angles it across to Wallstrom. Picked up along the boards by Dobson. Flushes the leather. What a save by Campbell. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Feeds the puck across to McDavid. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Marcel's got great balance when skating, guys. He's so effective at making space for himself by being able to turn and carry that speed with him. That's his elite edge of zone ability, and he can use it to get past defenders. Poked away in the neutral zone by Lee. New York's got the puck along the boards. Lee's gained the line and on the attack. Great reach with the poke check. The Oilers have it against the wall. And we'll get a fresh set of legs for the defensive pairing as the puck is sent into the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Lee. Across the line, down the left wall. Quick shot. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Great reach by Paul Mary. The Oilers gain possession. Puck picked up by Murray. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Ryan's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by Fogel. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Paul Mary. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Couldn't complete the play. Handles it along the blue line. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off the stick. Here's a short pass to Pajo. Knocked away. Chase to win it. And he comes up with a huge save. 
Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Such hard work in the defensive zone when you're rolling around on a cycle trying to stop the other team. So this stoppage comes really at a nice time for them. They can get a breath here, get regrouped. Edmonton's won the draw. Slides the puck ahead to Fogel. Picked off by Bellows. Moves it to Martin. And now it's over to Clutterbuck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Slittering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Quick pass over to Ajo. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Scores! Turn out the lights! This one's over! Hey, when there's this much traffic, James, the goalie's just going to drop into the butterfly, try and play the percentages and hope the puck hits him because he can't see it. There's so much traffic in front of the net. He doesn't find it, it doesn't hit him, and it's in the goal. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.